The holiday season has arrived and the football season has reached its pinnacle. What better place to celebrate than right here at ESPN's Wide World of Sports, located in the heart of the world-famous Walt Disney World Resort. Tonight, Pop Warner teams from around the country are eagerly awaiting to hear their team's name called, with the dreams of competing against the best and a chance at taking home some championship hardware. It's the 57th annual Pop Warner Super Bowl, and this is the Bracket Reveal Show on ESPN3. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Production Center here at ESPN's Wide World of Sports Complex. I'm Michael Kane, and I am thrilled to be here with you for 2013 coverage of the Pop Warner Super Bowl Championships. I'm thrilled to welcome my broadcast partner with me. He is the Director of Media Relations for Pop Warner, Mr. Josh Proust. Now, Josh, it seems like just yesterday we were here, 2012 Super Bowl, and now here it is, 2013, and another round of teams coming in looking to take home some hardware. Yep, 64 teams from eight different regions have qualified. And to say before we get to the brackets, I want to let everyone know that each region does have one team on a game on ESPN3 in Division One and Division Two in the first round. The rest of them were just drawn by a lottery. Well, I know we have a lot of anxious teams at home, so let's get right to the brackets. First up in Division Two, the Junior Peewees. First quarterfinal game, the Northampton Indians. They'll face off against that tough team from Stratford, the Stratford Redskins. Second quarterfinal has the Bedford Heights Saints from Ohio. They'll face off against the Carson Ravens. Third quarterfinal game, the West Orange Wildcats from right here in Central Florida. They will face off against the Colorado Springs War Dogs. Final quarterfinal game of this division has the Northfolk Saints. And they'll face off against the East Palo Alto Greyhounds. Now, Josh, eight great teams there. What stands out in this Junior Pee Wee bracket? A couple. West Orange has that home game, and that's going to be a big deal here. Getting your crowd here, again, it's a, it's a late morning game. I expect it to be really busy. That home field advantage, huge for West Orange. But the sleeper team in this group, East Palo Alto, they haven't been here before, but they have a huge passing attack from what we've heard. Staying in Division Two, but jumping up a weight class. In the first quarterfinal game, we have the Coastal Cowboys from North Carolina. They're going to face off against the Hawaiian Gardens Warriors. Second quarterfinal has the Southeast Dallas Wolverines. They're going to match up against the West Haven Seahawks from Connecticut. Third game in the bracket has the Michigan City Wolves. They're coming out of Indiana. They're going to face off against the Creeks Outlaws. Again, another team from Florida. Florida always so well represented in this tournament. And finally, the final quarterfinal game is the Ward 5 Warriors. They're going to face off against the Brentwood Oakley Falcons. Josh, again, just a stacked bracket top to bottom. What do you like what you see? Uh, I can't find a team I don't like in this bracket, to be honest with you. Michigan City, last year's junior peewee runner-up. Then you've got West Haven, last year's peewee runner-up in this. You've got Ward 5, talented out of D.C. You've got Hawaiian Gardens, coached by the uh, coach who did the 2009 uh, North Long Beach Panthers, who were runners-up. Really, this is an open bracket for anybody to win. Well, a lot of runners-up there. See if they can turn themselves into champions this year. Moving on to the Division II Junior Midgets. First quarterfinal matchup has Hoffman Estates Redhawks. They're going to face that explosive offense from Colorado, the Loveland Titans. Second quarterfinal game, Northeast Pride coming out of Arizona, matching up against the Bergen County Stars from New Jersey. Third game on the docket, North Raleigh Bulldogs coming out of North Carolina, and they're facing off against the Jensen Beach Falcons, again, from right here in the state of Florida. And rounding out this bracket is the Gilroy Browns from California, facing off against the Tough Tigers from Wareham, Massachusetts. Josh, what do you got? Let's focus on the game here on ESPN3. Loveland came last year in a division lower. They managed to win a round. That experience is great. Now, when they did lose last year, they have a focus, and that focus is the number 17. And that was for field 17 right here to try to win a championship. So they're back again, an explosive offense. We'll see if their defense can come through as well as their offense did last year. They're playing a difficult Hoffman Estates team from Chicago, undefeated this year, and they blew out their opponents in the regional finals, winning 38 to six, a difficult Bedford Heights squad out of Ohio. So expect this to be the best game of the day. And finally, moving up to the big boys, the midget division, division two. First quarterfinal game, Bay City Bulldogs from California. They will face off against the Palm Bay Rockets from Florida. Next game, New Birth Warriors out of Ohio. Another team from Colorado, the North Suburban Bulldogs. And our team that has traveled probably the farthest in our third quarterfinal game, the Panawea Alehi team out of Hawaii. 
They're going to face off against the Greensboro Ravens from North Carolina. And the final quarterfinal matchup in the Division II Midgets has the Southside Cyclones facing off against the West Lynn Rams. You know what, I like this Alihi Ravens game. I again, tough travel for the Hawaii team, but we found the last four times the Hawaii team's played in the first round here, they've won. So clearly the time doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. Greensboro this year has given up no touchdowns. So uh, something's got to give in this matchup, and I think it's going to be a really close and tight game. Division one action is going to start on Sunday, December 8th. And here's a look at the brackets. First up, we have the Junior Peewees. First game of the day, we have the East Bay Wranglers from California. They're going to face off against the Fort Collins Outlaws from Colorado. Second game has the Virginia Beach Mustangs. They're going to face off against the Worcester Vikings out of Massachusetts. Third game in the bracket has the Watkins Hornets coming out of Washington, D.C. They're going to face that tough Deer Valley Crusaders team out of Arizona. And rounding out this bracket, we have the Harvey Colts. They're going to match up against the Gwynn Cherry Bulls from Florida. A lot of teams to like in this bracket. You've got East Bay, a perennial favorite, never actually won a Super Bowl championship. This team, they've never given up a point the whole season long. Good possibility of them. You've got Virginia Beach, last year's champion. And on the bottom side of the brackets, you have Deer Valley out of Arizona. Arizona's only lost two games in the past four Super Bowls down here. Moving on to Division I Peewees. First matchup is the White Oak Warriors coming out of Maryland. They're going to face off against the Richmond Perrine Giants. Second quarter finals, the Redwood City 49ers out of California. They're going to face off against the Brookline Jamaica Plain Patriots coming out of Massachusetts. Third matchup in this bracket is the Virginia Beach Mustangs. They're going to face off against the Arlington Thunder from the great state of Texas. And rounding out this bracket, the Far West Jets. We see that club every year out of Arizona. They're going to face off against the Oak Park Trojans from Michigan. The game of the day has to be White Oak and Richmond Perrine. Both are coaches that have national championships here at Pop Warner. They're perennial favorites. They're playing in the first round. It should be a really interesting game. I think it's going to draw a huge crowd here. And it's one of those you want to sit down, make sure you go into the bathroom beforehand. You got all your snacks because you're not going to want to look away from this game. Division One Junior Midget Bracket. In the first game of the day, we have the Glenville Titans from Ohio. They're facing off against the Virginia Beach Mustangs. Second quarter final, Liberty City Warriors from Florida. They're going to face off against the Eagles from Dorchester, Massachusetts. Third matchup has the Monument Blizzards out of Colorado. They're going to face off against the tough Golden Grizzlies from Temecula, California. And rounding out this bracket for junior midgets has the East Bay Wolves from California facing off against the Beacon House Falcons from D.C. Now, there's a lot of perennial favorites here. Beacon House, Virginia Beach, teams you always see. I want to focus on that Monument Temecula game. It's actually their both first time here. Um, pretty new programs. I think this is going to be an interesting game. Who adjusts to the weather down here? Who can get comfortable with everything in the surroundings? Should be an interesting game all the way around. And I think if you see one of those teams and they get some confidence, they can give a team a real fit in the second round. On to the heavyweights in Division I, the Midgets. First game of this bracket has the Brookline Jamaica Plain Patriots. They're facing off against the Kanahoe Knights from Hawaii. Second matchup has the Ontario Jaguars from California. They're going to face off against the Blackhawk Athletic Club out of Pennsylvania. Third game in this division has the Bedford Heights Saints out of Ohio facing off against the Overtown Tornadoes from right here in Florida. And rounding out this bracket for the Midgets is the Capital City Steelers from North Carolina. And they're going to face the East Bay Warriors out of California. Josh, the big boys, Division One. what do you got? Lots of good things to look at here. Capital City, uh, they won a championship in 2005 in Midgets. You have Overtown out of Miami. They're always a powerhouse. And you've got the Blackhawks Athletic Club who bumped off two-time champion. They were trying to go for a three-peat all the way up through it in Marshall Heights in the regionals. And overall, I think those are the best teams, but you know what? You never quite know what the Midgets could be anybody. Well, Josh, 64 teams have booked their tickets down here to ESPN's Wide World of Sports Complex, and all the action starts this Saturday, December 7th. Be sure and tune in to ESPN3 starting at 10.45 a.m. We'll have full coverage all weekend long. First game kicks off at 11 a.m. this weekend. It's going to be a great week of Pop Warner action. We hope you tune in. For my broadcast partner, Josh Proust, I'm Michael Kane signing off. We'll see you this week for the Pop Warner Super Bowl Championship.